funny thing about YouTube, um, it has the advertised content, distribution. I have a set of twin girls, they're 11 now, and they came across YouTube maybe from the age of six. And that's the way they lived, with educational content, cartoons, all But what really amazed me is a guy called Mr. Anyone know him? They were the first to introduce And just like each and every one of us, I mean, what you have the opportunity to not just tell the African story, make some good money from it, but there is no end in time. That keeps on giving. Special time. In the past, this was you're in that moment where you're 25, 30, and you're already a There we go. No, as in your account balance, the most future. Any millionaires here? Don't worry, we're gonna make that happen. Amen. So we mentioned that this is three days. And we're about to kick off day one. So what is day one exactly about? All right. Um, look to your table. Make sure whoever you are sitting with is back on the table so that we do not miss a thing. I mentioned at the beginning that you're going to hear from a lot of people on the stage over the next three days. Some rewards. But the takeaway is that you need to understand the power that you have. If I gave each and every one of you a blank check and I said, put whatever number you want on the check, what number would you put on? Let me just do this very quickly. What number, you look like you spend money. What number would you put on? The number would shut his hand. It doesn't even know. It's like, it's even shocking you because you can't, <laughs> you can't even give the number. But that's how, and that's the power that you have. If I gave you a blank check, how much would you put there? The money should be eleven. Oh, give me a number. Uh, one zillion. One zillion. <laughs> Security. <laughs> one zillion. Does that exist? Sorry, no best. All right, so let's find out what day one is all about. But the potential you have is the equivalent of having a blank check, ladies and gentlemen. And when you start thinking in that light, you understand the power that YouTube has given you and that you can give yourself so let's kick off with what day one is all about all right so when you see it you let me know what do you think day one is going to be all about for those that got the email anyone anyone okay let me get my ticker on very quickly so technicality is a very key thing all right, technicality. With everything that we do, there is a structure to it, there is a process to it, and you need to understand that. Day two is going to be about content creation maximize. Say that again. I need it louder. For those of you jotting down, don't worry, we have the slides. Don't do what they taught us in school. Pay attention to what we're saying. Everything you need is online, all right? The judges are there, but pay attention and let everything we say soak in. Everyone say soak in. Soak in. Louder. Soak in. All right, so day two is that. That's tomorrow. And day three, what are we going to be doing? What are we going to be doing? Say that again. Say it like you mean it. Is it a big bread? Is this sliced bread? No. What bread are we talking about? No. What bread? No. And you're going to give it to me? No. Wow, wow, guys. That's all we've been through since 10 a.m. All right, so this is an overview of everything that we're going to be looking at this morning. Um, what you have here is a spread, and we're going to stick to time as much as possible. But I need you to understand that one of the top things we're going to be talking about is the algorithm. Say the algorithm. algorithm. Say the algorithm. the algorithm. Now, Nigerianize it, the algorithm. Algorithm. Mm -hmm. algorithm. 
It sounds like a big word, but it's actually very simple, and we're going to make it even simpler. We also have the YouTube ecosystem. Say the YouTube ecosystem. Now, the YouTube ecosystem is where you exist, but the question is how do you exist in this ecosystem? What is your relationship with the YouTube ecosystem? It's not just about opening a channel. Anyone can do that. But how can you move from zero subscribers to 1,000, 10,000, to 200,000 subscribers? And how can you make that bread? We're going to also take a look at distribution strategies. So you open the YouTube, you understand the algorithm, you get the ecosystem. How do you move your content around? Who do you collaborate with? How do you collaborate? We're going to take a look at that. Now, this particular one is of interest to me. It's about copyrights, all right? You see copyrights management there? Who's going to be taking that? Let me know if you're paying attention. Who's taking copyrights? Who's taking it? Some of you are putting your brain like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, so copyrights management is very important for many reasons. A number of you unknowingly put up some content that belongs to someone else, and YouTube does what? What do they do? They take it down. So we want to make sure they don't take us down. Tell the person next to you, they ain't taking me down. They ain't take you down. Because I got bread. Because I have no bread. Yeah, I think they want all right, and of course, last but not the least is the Q&A, where we're going to give you that time to ask questions. So during the course of this presentation, during the course of day one, day two, day three, if there are any particular questions that really hit home, um, put it down in your notes, and if the opportunity comes, you get to ask that. Please, for the Q&As, house rule, I've attended a lot of events, I've hosted a lot of events, when we say ask a question, what does that mean? How many questions? You do not give us the history of how you set up your YouTube channel and how it was pulled down and how you resurrected it. Your name, your channel, and your question. Say that again. One more time. And if anybody does not do this, what should we do to the person? Think about that. We'll get back to that. All right, so that is day one roundup. Day two is equally special, but we'll talk about that at the end of day one. But I can tell you for free, there are giveaways. There's a game coming up. You know Kahoot? You know Kahoot? You're familiar with Kahoot? Let me see your hands up. All right, we'll have some special giveaways. But it's a great pleasure that I have to introduce this gentleman. He's a great guy, fun guy. He's a genius. He's funny. He is playful. He's in a lot of money, he's a CEO of Special Effects Media South Africa. Make some noise for the Nilo! Everything you said was true except for the bread. I have no bread and nothing to share with Oscar. For you, I will share the bread, not him. Are we clear? Is that fine? Ladies and gents, it is such an honor to be here. I am very, very excited to be with you all this morning. I'm from South Africa, uh, and we're very, very passionate about this continent as a company. We're called Special Effects Media South Africa, and our reason for being is to nurture Africa's creative voice. And every single one of you sitting in this room today is an African voice that is ready to be exported to the rest of the world. And throughout the course of the next three days, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that uh, here. So my topic for today is to give you a quick overview of the YouTube ecosystem. This might not seem like a very technical section of what we're going to cover, but it's very important as a business person for me to also understand economics and understand the system that we find ourselves in and how do we play to that system. Now the YouTube ecosystem is broken up into a couple of parts, all right? The main parts we will discuss in a bit, but before I get there, when I was speaking to a lot of our creators and filmmakers in the industry, I realized there were a lot of challenges for filmmakers, particularly in Nollywood, and so I'd like to get a few of those. I know there's some microphones on the side that will make their way through to you, or just shout at me, I hope you can hear. But raise your hand if you're a filmmaker. Yeah, all right, good stuff. Can you just tell me, sir, what are some of the challenges that you face as a filmmaker in this industry right now? Seen. So you say is to be able to be seen? Did I get money? 
money making and okay, we're free. Is everyone struggling to reach people, like to get people to see your stuff? So, anything else that's come to mind by raising your hand? Yes, sir? Distribution, is it too expensive? Just hard to access? Okay, so getting people to see your stuff through distribution. What else? Anyone else have any others? Piracy. Good one. You saw that on the slide, didn't you? Good stuff. Right, so we're on the same page. As YouTube, we totally understand the world that you're in as a digital creator. And there are some challenges that will make us face today. Some of them are on your screen now. Access to distribution channels, piracy, cost, reach, data analytics, monetization, all of this we're going to teach today and over the next two days and help you make sure that you can build better communities, reach more people, and make more money through YouTube, Red. So just a note that obviously the access to traditional distribution channels is very expensive, it's very time consuming. I know that, I know that Oscar was saying that you perhaps are learning illegal stuff, but that's not the point. People are learning your films, they're taking your content and uploading it. And that means that you're going to lose revenue and lose opportunities to get the bread. And so we're going to show you how YouTube is going to help you manage those copyrights as filmmakers and make more money ultimately. So YouTube is the perfect platform for filmmakers to be able to reach people at a global scale. Who knows Tyler? Tyler? Yeah, yeah, the musician Tyler. Tyler is one of South Africa's greatest exports. Who knows Trevor Noah? Right. South Africa's greatest exports. People from all over the world are looking to you and I to find out what's new, what's trending. Africa is on the spotlight. We're celebrating Africa Month because people want to see stories from Africa. We're bored of the stories coming from other parts of the world, and we want to see that which is unique and different and exciting, and we hold it here. So now is the time for African filmmakers to get their stories out into the world. But in order to do so, we need to understand that YouTube is an ecosystem. In order to understand this ecosystem, there really are three key players. There are creators who make content, there are users who watch content, and there are advertisers and brands who want to speak to the users who watch creators. Okay? And so over the next three days, we're going to cover how each of these three key players you can play into as a creator and ensure that you understand the economics. What are brands thinking? So for example, if you look at the screen over here, the user is looking to be educated and entertained. How are you going to educate and entertain viewers and users? Creators are trying to create content. You are a creator. You make stories. You want to get those stories to the users. We'll show you the algorithm, show you what the platform looks for, show you what viewers, viewers are looking for so that you can make sure that your content is tailored to attract the most number of users possible to your channel when there's lots of competition. And then last but not least, there's obviously the advertisers who want to appear on content that is high quality with really engaged audiences so that their brands can grow their business in market. This is a slightly expanded ecosystem. You're welcome to take a photo of it if you want to, but we will obviously make sure this all comes to you. But these two extra additions to your world in the ecosystem, right? There are copyright holders, so not actually a creator of content themselves. They don't own a channel, they don't manage a channel, they don't distribute through YouTube, but they have rights to films, they have rights to series. Those rights need to be managed, and YouTube can help them manage those rights. Perhaps you're in the room today, you don't want to be in the camera, you don't want to post a lot on a YouTube channel, but you do have content that you want YouTube to protect for you. You can engage the platform that way. And then a company like ours is called a YouTube Creator Service Provider. Creator Service Providers have special technology, things like Content ID, which can assist creators to protect their rights on platform, but beyond that, help creators grow, work with brands, and get to make more money from the platform. Okay, I think you'd like to play a welcome video from one of my colleagues, she's back in South Africa, she was meant to be here today, but through a number of other logistical reasons she couldn't. She wanted to greet you, but she also particularly wanted to share some insights as to what the users on YouTube in your territory in Nigeria right now are looking for on YouTube to show you that you are the center of attention right now in Nigeria. Let's play the video from Victoria. 
Today, everyone, I am Olinda Malabutoya Iwale, originally from the United States, on my brother, Kibi Shoe. I am incredibly honored to be part of this amazing project by YouTube. I currently work as a partner manager at Special Events Media. And part of my role includes being a YouTube specialist for brands who are trying to grow their presence in the digital world. I would have loved to be there in person, but for now, you need to access my presence in the spirit, and I am definitely looking forward to the next event. Let's get down to business. Now that we understand how the YouTube ecosystem works, I conducted a Google's trend search to check what terms are coming from viewers on YouTube in Lagos um, over the past 12 months, and the top rising queries are Yoga Moon 24, Vintage Yoga Moon 24, Treasure in the Sky, Chiki Chiki Movies, Jagu Jagu. Part of the top five search topics were Jagu Jagu, The Trap Called Judah, and Gensho. The interest in various topics and terms are on the rise and will continue to grow with more free options offered on YouTube. In Nigeria as a whole, the top five queries are latest yoga movies, um, Treasure in the Sky, Chike Dike movies, Jabu Jabu, and Vidal Sarita. With that said, your viewers are on YouTube and they are looking for movies and they want to enjoy them. But I really hope that you find this insightful. Thank you so much. I hope that you continue to find the rest of the events lovely and I hope that you will be with you. She will be with us at the next event, I'm very, very sure. But she touched on something very important. In the ecosystem of YouTube, there are users, there are creators, and there are advertisers and brands. You're the creators. What are users looking for on platform? Globally, as of April last year, from data, globally, the top search terms on YouTube, or what people are looking for on YouTube, are movies. As you can see, the movies on there, cartoons, dance, DJ music songs, video generally. Movie makes another phrase here, 17% and music. So movies and music are two of the biggest categories in terms of audience demand on platform. So for filmmakers and musicians in Nigeria, now is the time to start capitalizing. People are looking for your content. How do we get them to discover you? And the rest of the sessions we'll cover today, we will be able to cover with you as well. So let's talk a bit more about why YouTube is so great as a platform. First and foremost, global reach. Uh, there are 2 billion monthly active users on YouTube in the world. We as Africans start to think a little bit too small. We keep ourselves in our boundaries and know that only we're interested in our stuff. The world is interested in our stuff. 2 billion people are interested in our stories. How do we reach those 2 billion people? YouTube is a public platform, it's free to you to be able to use. So we really do need to, as filmmakers, realize that we want to showcase our world, our work to the world. It's cost effective, it's free to create a YouTube channel, it's free to post your videos. No other distribution channel has that for you. The third one is the monetization opportunities. Um, you've got many alternative revenue streams through your YouTube channel, ad revenue, uh, all your supers, fan funding, all of that stuff makes a big part of your ability to earn revenue. That's coming in day three. So day three is the day you really want to be your most awake and make sure you've got your pens and paper. It's all about the money in day three. Fourthly, we've got our audience engagement. Lots of opportunities to engage and build a community on the platform. We can protect your copyrights. I know a lot of creators here today, my session later on on copyrights will cover this. Who here has ever seen your content uploaded by somebody else on another social platform that you did not give them rights to upload? Okay, I'm seeing some hands. This is a common problem we're facing. YouTube has got an incredibly mature opportunity for you to manage your rights on platform. And lastly, most traditional distribution channels don't give you analytics. You will know how your audience feels and how your work is doing based on those analytics themselves. So I really do encourage you to engage the platform as best as possible, to really think about how you're going to engage today and over the next two days. We are here, speak to us, engage, ask questions, be part of the Q&A. We would really, really love to be able to hear from you. My colleague is going to be coming up next. Her name is Raisa Dorat. She's going to start off a session for us on distribution strategies on YouTube. Give her a round of applause, ladies and gents. challenges you are facing as filmmakers is distribution and how to strategize your content. So today I'm going to be walking you through all of that. Let's get into it. Okay. So 
As an intro to the topic, I want to ask the room a question. As Nigerian creatives and filmmakers, what do you believe is the biggest difference between YouTube versus other streaming platforms? Any ideas? I'm gonna to have to pick on people if I don't get any ideas. Come on, I know you. I know you know it. Yes, gentlemen. Easy access. Okay, cool. Do we have another thought or yes. idea? Yes. Yes. Agent. Agent. So, Agent. Yes. Agent. Exactly. Correct. Amazing. Um. So looking at the differences, YouTube, the creatives, the creators are at the core of the platform. They steer the platform, they move the platform forward with their content creation. And as filmmakers, YouTube is your go-to for content. You have the platform to experiment, to change it up, to explore. So that keep that in mind for the rest of this workshop and this session. The second one is frequency and consistency. Frequency refers to how often you upload your content as creators, and consistency is maintaining that frequency. And the last but not least is monetization. YouTube wants to reward you for all your hard work, so this is the platform for that. Some differences from to other streaming platforms are limited content types. Unfortunately, you can't find all the content under the sun and other content on other streaming platforms as you can on YouTube. The second one is strictly subscription based. You're going to have to pay a fee in order to access other streaming platforms, whereas on YouTube, you can access it for free. And last but not least, professional content only. Your mobile phone is not going to cut it. This is a, going to show you an example of a creator who is really using these three bespoke characteristics on YouTube very well. Also, it was actually a story that um, you know came as a brief from uh, you know an advertising agency uh, who wanted to do a film that captures age 15 to 45, you know, um, in Nigeria. And I think they got the brief from you know a multinational company, you know, a telecom company. They're looking to do a film that can have most of their product placed, you know, and still, you know, come out with entertainment value. We submitted that story. Fortunately, we were selected, you know, among the ten uh, people who had to be picked for the uh, for the job. And uh, when it was time to to uh, progress, they we give them a budget, and I think they, they said they were looking for something of that standard. So, uh, for like a year, I kept the script to myself because um, this is the way I requested, I kept it. And um, when it was time, after the old success of um, a lady, I said, let me do something. Okay, amazing. Does anyone know this creator and this book? Have you heard of it? Have you seen it? 
Amazing, I'm so glad to hear. So why I love this creative is because this is a typical example of a creative using UGC style content. In this video that you just saw, the creator unpacks behind the scenes of the book that he created and gives you more insight into what went into every scene. So please keep that in mind when creating for uh, YouTube specifically. The second one is consistency. This creative is consistently uploading content on their channel and really um, shares diversity of content through their consistency, whether it's trailers, upcoming films, blogs, documents, the, the other filmmaking process goes, you name it, you can find it. And last but not least, monetization. Through various different platform features, this creator is able to access monetization, which we will be getting into detail in workshop three, so make sure you are here for workshop three. But when we bring the two streaming worlds together, what do we get? Number one, we get personalization. There is nothing more comforting as a human being than hearing your name in a room full of people or having a shout out in a live chat with millions of other audience members. Personalization is really key on these platforms. The second one is binge watching culture. These platforms really encourage binge watching culture for their audiences as the long format videos encourage users to sit down and watch it all at once. And last but not least, global audiences. These platforms are your key to tap into people that you will probably never meet in your life, but you'll find them online. Okay, now that you have what the different platforms are, what they do, how they're different. Let's talk about some YouTube formats that you can leverage as a creative, but please keep in mind, you should be thinking about these formats in collaboration with other creatives. So a really great mix to diversify your content. Long format videos is the go-to landscape, ranging from anything between five minutes to three hours. This is how you showcase your work as a filmmaker and really indulge your audience into your creative mindset. Shorts, 59 seconds or less. Portrait is all you know. And really um, creative for short form, catchy, easy content. Live streams and premieres. Live streaming as a filmmaker, you can both cast a video in real time with you being in the comment section with your audience members and premieres deleting a pre-recorded video for your audiences. And last but not least, don't forget about the community tab. It's really an awesome feature to tap into to show your audiences beyond video. Show them something different. Keep them in the loop. Keep them engaged. Tell them what's coming. Okay, now moving on to mobile shorts. So, first question is, if something were to happen in front of us right now, what is the first thing you would take out to capture that moment? Is it your laptop? Is it your camera? Is it a notebook? Is it a phone? I'd love to hear. Phone, exactly. We as human beings will put on our phone first. And this introduces the next topic around mobile shorts. Okay, I think we're having a little bit of a technical issue. We'll be up and running shortly. 